Welcome back. This is section 7.2 about um, exponential change in separable differential equations. And this is problem number 8. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you because it's a story problem. So for a particular chemical reaction, the rate is in grams per hour at which one of the reactants changes is proportional to the amount that the re of, the, of that reactant present, present. If y represents the amount of that reaction at time t, if there were 70 grams of the reactant when the process started at t equals zero, how many grams will remain after three hours? So it does give us a differential equation. It says dy dt equals negative 0.7y. And it also told us that y is representative of the amount of reactant as a function of time in grams right? So it said the reaction rate was in grams per hour, therefore y is in grams, grams, and t is in hours, hours, grams per hour. And then it says that t equals zero, there are 70 grams. So that's our initial value that we're going to use to solve this um, specific differential equation. The first step here is going to be making this separable. So it already is separable. We're going to go ahead and uh, get all of the y's with the dy, and all of the t's with the dt. So I'll multiply dt over here and get dy equals negative 0.7y dt. So I separated these. Now I can go ahead and divide all the y's over here. So I'm going to divide by negative 0.7y on both sides. That will cancel on this side. And then what I'm left with is 1 over negative 0.7y dy equals dt. I'm going to go ahead and take the integral of both sides. And let's do the right side first. The integral of 1 with respect to t is, of course, just t plus the constant c. And we're only going to need one constant. So if you use a constant for one side, you don't need to include a constant for the other side. All you need is one constant to shift this graph vertically to where it's supposed to be. All right, so the next step is we're going to go ahead and pull out this 1 over negative 0.7. It's kind of getting in the way. We can pull it out of the integral because it's a constant. And we're still left with 1 over y dy, right? 1 over y dy. And the integral of 1 over y with respect to y is the natural log of y, but because y must be a positive number, because natural log isn't defined for 0 to infinity, it's not defined, or I'm sorry, from 0 to negative infinity, it's not defined, therefore the integral of 1 over y must be the natural log of the absolute value of y. And we're still left with negative 1 over 0.7 outside of the natural log, and that's equal to t plus c. Well, here comes our initial value. Um, as you can see here, it states that, uh, that there's 70 grams to start with when time equals zero. Well, y is amount of reactant in grams as a function of time. So 70 grams means that y equals 70 at time zero when t equals zero hours. So t is going to be 0, y is going to be 70, and it asks us to round to the nearest tenth. Um, ln of 70 is roughly 4.248 um, divided by negative 0.7 is going to give us minus 6.0693, and I think that's probably good enough rounding to the nearest tenth is equal to c. So now we can rewrite this equation as minus 1 over 0.7 ln of the absolute value of y equals t, but plus c is now minus 6.0693. So we solve for c, we plug it back into our um, general differential equation. And now finally to the question. It asks, how many grams will remain after three hours? So it's asking us to evaluate this at t equals three, or three hours. So all that we have to do now is plug in um, t for three, right? Because t equals three. So 
So now we have 3 minus 6.0693, which is equal to 1 over negative 0.7 ln of the absolute value of y. And of course, we're solving for y because y is the amount of reactant. And that's what the problem is asking for is how much reactant will be around after 3 hours. So I'm going to take 3, subtract 6.0693, then times it by 0.7 with a minus sign in front of it. And that tells me that the natural log of the absolute value of y is equal to 2.1485, roughly. And then to solve for y finally, I'm going to raise I'm going to raise e to the power of both sides. And of course, e and ln are inverse functions, so they cancel. And what we're left with is y is equal to 2.1485 e raised to the power of 2.1485, which is roughly 8.6. And of course, this is in grams of reactant, so the units are in grams. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next video.